What's up everybody? In this video I got you guys just something insane. Literally everybody is going to be able to complete the nightfall now thanks to this little cheese method. And by the way, I can't take credit to this. A guy that goes by Squirrelock Holmes introduced me to this. He was able to do this in the arms dealer nightfall. He hasn't exactly done it in this current nightfall, but the way this method works, it can be done on literally every nightfall that involves time besides the one where you have to kill enemies. That's the only one where I don't really see this working. So I wanted to try to figure out a way to be able to do it in this current Nightfall so I could help out as many people as I could. Once again, once you learn about this, guys, the Nightfall is not going to feel the same whatsoever. And I believe I'm like the second person to post this. The first one was Squirrelock Holmes. And he actually messaged me, introduced me to this. So once again, big shout out to Squirrelock Holmes. If you guys want, go down below and check out his channel and subscribe. Because this is going to help out the Destiny 2 community a lot. So get prepared for a lot of other YouTubers that cover Destiny content to share this exact glitch that I'm showing you guys. And hopefully when they do, they give credit where credit is due. Because this is a very small Destiny YouTuber. And he deserves the growth over how much this is about to help out everybody. I'm telling you guys, it's insane how helpful this is. So first off, before I get into this, if you guys could, please take a little bit of your time and leave a like. Your guys' support is greatly appreciated. How you do this simple method to have an infinite amount of time in the Nightfall, well, I should just say actually the maximum amount of time possible. You're able to destroy these anomalies in an infinite amount of time until you have max time limit reached, which that is what I'm going to be doing. As you can see, we're over at this section in the Nightfall, and what we are doing is loading in this section, Exodus Black, and then we're immediately going back to the barrier over here. And the anomaly, as you guys know, that's how you gain time. And as you guys can see, the anomaly has officially spawned back. So you're able to keep doing this over and over and over and over, rinse and repeat, until it ends up popping up on your screen that you have reached the maximum time. That's when you, of course, know you can't do this any longer. Now, I will say this would be more efficient on other Nightfall missions instead of this one, just because of this barrier right here that's blocking our path to really go back to where a lot of the anomalies are. Unfortunately, we we're only able to destroy this one over and over and over. If there was more here, this would be way more efficient with saving time. But you still save quite a bit of time doing this. As you can see, we are gaining quite a bit. I think we gained like almost eight minutes out of just this one anomaly. But if there's multiple there, we'd be able to gain a lot more each time we go back to that loading section. Instead of just gaining 30 seconds and immediately heading back, hitting that loading section and, you know, heading back and destroying the anomaly. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some pointers of what to do while you are sitting here farming this anomaly to gain time. That just sounds weird now that I think about it. I never thought I would say that. We're farming time here. Anyways, yeah, so what you want to do, I know in this video we have three people here, and what we're doing, we're waiting on our sparrow until one of us gets back from destroying the anomaly, and then one of us immediately zooms as soon as we get back to the checkpoint to destroy the anomaly, and we keep doing that rinse and repeat. You want to make sure none of you are in the area where the anomaly is. You want to make sure the rest of you are over here at the Exodus Black. Because if one of you stay over where the anomaly spawns at and you're thinking you're going to be able to destroy it really fast, no. It won't spawn whatsoever. You all have to be out of that area. So definitely keep that in mind when doing this. Also another little tip I want to say while doing this farming method to save a lot of time is have two of your teammates go on and do the Nightfall regularly. Like progress through it. Go take on the Fallen Walker, and after the Fallen Walker, those two teammates sooner or later should encounter a lot of anomalies that they could up the time. And one of you should stay here and continue to farm this one until you reach maximum time limit. But by the time that happens, hopefully you'll just be joining allies with them over at the boss, so you don't have to really go and catch up with them. So keep that in mind. This definitely helps out tremendously. As long as one of you stays here and farms this area, you should be A-OK. -okay. Of course, it can be kind of slower farming it by yourself, but if you have two teammates over there collecting the anomalies and taking out that fallen walker, you'll be able to progress through this more efficiently. Thank goodness for this one anomaly that spawns in this really random place, I have to say. It's like Bungie purposely put this here so we could farm it. I'm just kidding. Obviously, Bungie didn't want us to do this. And hopefully this doesn't get patched too fast, but I have a feeling it's going to be patched pretty soon. Hopefully it's not super soon, though, and we're able to do at least one more Nightfall besides just this one. Anyways, yeah, just make sure to keep those pointers in mind when doing this. Have one other person go and take on the rest of this Nightfall, and two of you sit here and farm the time. So once you reach the maximum time limit here, you can immediately just zoom across past everything 
wherever your other teammate got to. Now let me go ahead and jump into a nightfall and show you guys these pointers in action. I'm also going to be explaining to these guys how to do it because they don't even really know what's going on. Hopefully after I upload this video though, a lot more people will know what's going on and how to actually complete these nightfalls easily. Okay, so we want to get it past this part and then we want to get it past the next part and then that's when this cheese method can work where we can like boost our time so much until it says maximum time reached. Okay, so we got to get past this part and on the other side of that barrier, that's when it'll begin. There's actually an anomaly right above us, but that's the one we're going to be farming to reach a maximum amount of time that we can reach. And while we're farming it, Ken, I want you to go on ahead and take on the Fallen Walker. Unless you want me to do that while you guys farm it. I just have to show you guys the method real quick. Okay, so now here comes the farming method where me and Josiah is going to have to do. Just listen up, Josiah, on this next part. It's real easy. Real easy. But we're going to have to be as fast as possible to be as efficient as possible. I'm grabbing power ammo right now so I can be as fast as possible. Okay. Now, Ken, you go on and take the rest of this strike on. You know what I'm saying? Just progress regularly through. And me and Josiah here will farm. Okay. Now, Josiah, you want to chill here. Get on your sparrow. Get on your sparrow. Get on your sparrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now follow me this way. Now, if you notice, we went through that loading section that got the Exodus Black, right? Now we're back over here, correct? Okay, Josiah. Now, oh, get off your sparrow. And what you want to do is look up. Look up there. Do you see that? Do you see that anomaly up there? I'm shooting up toward it. Do you see it? Do you see it? That's what we're going to be farming, okay? You got it? That's what's going to keep coming back over and over and over, okay? So, yeah, destroy that. As you can see, plus 30 seconds. Now, grab, get on your sparrow. And we both don't want to be over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, now, we're, oh, yeah, keep going. You're going the right way. My bad. And you want to hit this loading section. And now, you want to chill here. Just, where you, no, no. You want to chill here and wait for me to get back. Have your sparrow ready. And as soon as I get back, you know, you stay over there. You stay over there. And as soon as I get back, you want to immediately go. So we're, we're as efficient as possible, you know? Okay, I just destroyed it. Now I'm coming back. Now you go. Now you destroy it. Destroy it up there. You're going to have to be faster than that, buddy. We're wasting time. Did you destroy it? Here, I'll just do it solo. I'll just do this solo. It's, all, it's, it's, it's no biggie. I'll just do this solo. I'll have a guide out soon so more people will know what to do with this. Okay. I'm about to gain more time here in a second. Alright, there's plus 30 again. Keep it up, guys. How's the Fallen Walker damage looking? Halfway? Nice. I'm going to keep farming this for time. Let's see if I can just do it real quick with the Mida. Yeah, I guess I don't really have to reload my rocket. I could still do it with my Mida. Okay... Grab that checkpoint, head back through. Okay. I'm slowly building time as you guys are seeing. Let me know when you see maximum time reached. I don't know why I keep getting off my sparrow I'm used. We can only gain a certain amount of time from anomalies. Meaning there's only a certain amount in the map, I believe. I don't know why it re caps out. Okay, I, I honestly don't get it. Maybe Bungie knew we'd find a way like this. I, I don't. I don't know, honestly. Fallen Walker's already destroyed. Good job. Keep going through. I'll keep farming this for time. You should see some anomalies on your way to the boss too. Yeah, you see the one over there, Ken? Did you destroy it? Nice. Good job. I helped their time a little. As you can see, we're going to keep growing time here until we're maxed out. I think we're maxed. Nope, not maxed yet. See, nine minutes already. Keep it up, guys. You guys are still progressing through, and I'm still farming time for us. Dang, we're already at ten minutes. Not bad, not bad. My first time doing this, I had eleven. I still haven't mastered this completely, but I got it down pretty well. Ooh, we're almost at eleven already. Good job. Yes. I don't know why I was waiting for my rocket. Two shots with the Mida, it's done. Ooh, almost at 12. Good job, guys. Very efficient. Oh my gosh. Keep it up. 
You're finding tons of them over there. I'm gonna keep forming it here. 13 minutes. <laughs> We're almost back at the starting time. No, I'm still gaining it. See? Still gaining time for us. Just go ahead. Jump jump into the boss fight then. And I'll still chill here and farm time until it says max time reached. So we have as much time as possible against the boss. 14 minutes. My oh my. This boss fight is going to be... Like, we could, we could literally die against this boss a, a good 12, 13 times and still be fine with time. Yeah, you'll definitely get the rat quest completed easily with this method. I think we reached max time. Let me check. I didn't see it pop up. Wait. How do you know? Yeah, we reached max time. It's not gaining no more. Like I'm going to catch up with you guys now and take on the boss. You guys are already at the boss, right? Okay, I'm going to switch to my Celestial Nighthawk when I get into a safe area. Okay. Alright, I got my Celestial... Oh, I'm joining allies. Perfect. I don't even have to catch up. Alright, and I got my Celestial on. Let's take this out as fast as possible. Yeah, he's tough. But good thing we got plenty of time to do this. Ooh! 180k right there. Damage. But yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it here, everyone. Hopefully this little preview of me actually playing through the Nightfall regularly showed you how to be as efficient as possible with this method. Good luck, everybody, with the Nightfall. This should help you guys out. I mean, come on. We're cheesing time here. You guys are going to have plenty of time to fight the boss as long as you just follow the pointers that I mentioned in the video. And by the way, now that I look at it, I think it's more efficient if you just do the farm solo and have two other teammates go to the next area and get all those anomalies after the Fallen Walker. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, and until next time, peace.